In the early 2000s, the United States Navy was developing a new class of warships that promised to revolutionize naval warfare. The ship was the USS Zumwalt, a sleek and futuristic looking vessel that incorporated advanced stealth technology, advanced weaponry, and cutting edge propulsion systems. However, despite its impressive capabilities, the Zumwalt program was eventually canceled after just three ships were built due to concerns over cost and technical challenges. In today's video, we will be showing you the stealth ship so powerful they couldn't build any more. Without further ado, let's begin. The Zumwalt class destroyer was designed to be the ultimate stealth ship with a radar signature that was significantly smaller than any other ship in the Navy's fleet. This was achieved through a combination of advanced hull design, special coatings, and a low profile superstructure that reduced the ship's radar cross section. Additionally, the ship's engines were designed to produce a minimal acoustic signature, making it extremely difficult to detect by sonar. In terms of armament, the Zumwalt was equipped with a variety of advanced weapon systems, including the MK-57 Vertical Launch System, which could launch a wide range of missiles including Tomahawk cruise missiles and anti-aircraft missiles. The ship was also equipped with two advanced gun systems. The 155mm Advanced Gun System, AGS, and the 30mm Close-In Weapon System. The AGS was capable of firing a variety of advanced munitions, including guided shells that could strike targets with pinpoint accuracy from over 80 miles away. Meanwhile, the CIWS was designed to provide close-range defense against incoming missiles and aircrafts. Despite its impressive capabilities, the Zumwalt program faced a number of technical and cost-related challenges. The ship's advanced technology and unique design meant that it was significantly more expensive to build than other ships in the Navy's fleet. With an estimated cost of over $4 billion per ship, additionally, the ship's complex propulsion system, which relied on a combustion of gas turbines and electric motors, proved to be difficult to maintain and operate. Furthermore, the Zumwalt's advanced design meant that it required a highly skilled crew to operate effectively. This in turn added to the ship's cost and made it more difficult to deploy in certain situations. For example, the Zumwalt's low profile and unique design made it difficult to operate in rough seas, which limited its usefulness in certain parts of the world. Despite these challenges, the Zumwalt did see some success during its brief time in service. In 2016, the USS Zumwalt was commissioned into the Navy's fleet, becoming the first ship in its class to enter service. However, the program was ultimately canceled after just three ships were built due to concerns over cost and technical challenges. Another potential area for future development in naval warfare is the use of directed energy weapons such as lasers or high-powered microwaves. These weapons have the potential to provide a range of benefits over traditional kinetic weapons, including faster engagement times, higher precision, and potentially reduced cost. However, like the Zumwalt program, the development of directed energy weapons will require careful consideration of practical factors, such as power requirements, thermal management, and reliability. Additionally, there are legal and ethical considerations around the use of directed energy weapons, particularly in situations where non-combatants may be present. Another area of potential development is in the use of unmanned underwater vehicles for a range of missions including mine clearance, intelligence gathering, and undersea warfare, like unmanned surface vessels, offer a number of advantages in terms of stealth endurance and flexibility and are particularly well suited to operations in challenging undersea environments. However, as with other emerging technologies, the development of UUVs will require careful consideration of factors such as reliability, interoperability with existing systems, and the ability to operate autonomously in potentially hostile environments. In conclusion, the Zumwalt class destroyer 
represents a significant milestone in the history of naval warfare and a reminder of the importance of innovation and technological advancement in shaping the future of military strategy. While the program ultimately faced significant setbacks and challenges, it has provided valuable insights into the practical considerations and challenges involved in developing advanced warfighting capabilities. As the Navy continues to develop new ships and weapon systems, it will be important to balance the benefits of advanced technology with practical considerations, such as cost, maintenance, and crew training. The development of new technologies such as directed energy weapons and unmanned underwater vehicles offer promising opportunities for the Navy to maintain its technological edge and adapt to a rapidly changing threat landscape, but will require careful planning, risk management, and a focus on practical considerations in order to be successful. However, as with the Zumwalt program, it will be important to balance the benefits of advanced technology with practical considerations, such as cost, maintenance, and crew training, as new technologies such as artificial intelligence, robotics, and cyber warfare continue to evolve, the Navy will need to develop new strategies and tactics to keep pace with the changing threat landscape. The Zumwalt class destroyer represents an important chapter in the history of naval warfare and a reminder of the power of innovation and technological advancement in shaping the future of military strategy. While the program may have been ultimately unsuccessful, its legacy will continue to inform the development of new ships and weapon systems for years to come. Today, the Zumwalt class destroyer stands as a testament to the power of innovation and technological advancement in military strategy. While the program may have ultimately been unsuccessful, it represented an important step forward in the development of advanced warships and demonstrated the potential of new technologies to transform the face of naval warfare. Despite its cancellation, the legacy of the Zumwalt class destroyer lives on, both in the physical remains of the ships themselves and in the lessons learned from the program's successes and failures. As the United States continues to face new challenges and threats on the world stage, the lessons of the Zumwalt program will continue to be relevant and influential in shaping the course of military strategy and innovation. To this end, the Navy has already begun investing in a range of initiatives designed to enhance its cybersecurity capabilities, including the establishment of new cyber defense units and the development of new cyber defense technologies and techniques. As these efforts continue to evolve, it is likely that the Navy will increasingly rely on cyber and information warfare capabilities to gain a strategic advantage in future conflicts. Finally, the Navy is likely to continue investing in its human capital, including recruiting and retaining highly skilled personnel with expertise in fields such as engineering, computer science, and cybersecurity. The Navy will need to develop new training and development programs to ensure that its personnel is equipped with the skills and knowledge needed to operate and maintain advanced technologies and to adapt to rapidly evolving threats. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.